Hello, my friends. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I hope you're ready to get your minds aligned with the truth of God today. I want to start out today by thanking those of you who have been generously giving to the needs at notaneedyperson.org. If you're not familiar with Not a Needy Person, that's a nonprofit ministry my wife and I have set up, and my wife runs with the help of a volunteer board. And it's where believers in Christ who are in need can come and submit needs to be considered. And then as those needs are approved, we put them publicly out on the website so others can give toward those needs. And the money goes directly to the people who are in need. We have some brand new needs on the website now. We have a young woman with two children who just lost her job. We have a father who's needing help to protect his daughters in a very vicious custody situation. We have a family of with seven children who have uh, experienced job loss, who need bills paid, those sorts of things. There's just all these pressing situations. A daughter who's asking for help with her mother who's suffering with stage four cancer. There's a young mother of three who recently left her husband because of abuse and unfaithfulness. These are real situations we have vetted that you can generously give toward if the Lord leads you to do so. I ask you to prayerfully consider not a needy person.org when you're considering where the Lord would have you give. All right, today, you may have noticed the title of this episode is called Don't Be This Girl. <laughs> Don't be this guy, you could say if you're a guy. Proverbs often describes for us a person that Solomon refers to as a fool, a person who is just living their life according to their own whims and their own conventional wisdom. But it's actually foolishness and folly is one of the words he uses. We're going to look at three verses from Proverbs 17 today that highlight what this kind of a person is like. And these are examples of who you do not want to be as a follower of Jesus Christ. Verse 12 says, let a man meet a she bear robbed of her cubs rather than a fool in his folly. Man, we've all heard that phrase. Uh, she responded like a mama bear, you know, a, a mama bear dealing with her uh, people who are coming against her cubs. Well, in this case, he's using that as an example. He's saying you'd be better off meeting that mama bear robbed of her cubs than you would meeting a fool who's in the midst of doing something really foolish. I mean, it reminds me of these shows on TV where you see guys doing absolutely stupid things and everybody laughs at them and they get hurt and all that stuff. That is just foolishness, friends. And those are examples of what happened in life when we act in foolishness. Let's look at the next one. Verse number 16. Why should a fool have money in his hand to buy wisdom when he has no sense? So this passage is telling us, even if a fool went to buy wisdom, which you can't buy, you have to learn step by step as you go along with God's help. But he's saying, even if he could buy wisdom, he wouldn't have the sense to do anything with it. Now, I don't believe this is communicating that there's no hope for a fool, that they can never grow in wisdom. But it is saying you should realize that it is a long road of recovery from foolishness into wisdom. And you should start that journey now. <laughs> if, if you find yourself in the category of a fool, you need to begin moving toward wisdom day by day by day, trusting God to help you to move into that place of wisdom. Verse number 18 says, one who lacks sense gives a pledge and puts up security in the presence of his neighbor. Now that phrase, one who lacks sense, that's another phrase that Solomon often uses to describe a foolish person. And so what is he describing here? Well, it's a person who gives their word or puts up security for someone else in the presence of his neighbor. Now what that means is co-signing on some sort of a debt would be one application or saying to someone, if so-and-so doesn't pay you, I'll pay you. I'll be responsible. See, it's taking on the responsibility for something, maybe out of a good heart, a good motive uh, for the sake of another person, but you don't have any control over whether or not that person is actually going to fulfill their obligation or not. And so it's going to come back on you. Solomon tells us in more places than this, that is kind of a foolish practice because you are putting yourself at the mercy of a fool, perhaps. And in so doing, you could be a fool yourself. Friends, this is just practical, down-to-earth wisdom that God has given us through the Proverbs. 
I want to encourage you, don't be this girl. Don't be this guy. You are a Christ follower called to a higher standard of living, walking the way of wisdom. And Jesus, we know that you will help us to be people who express your wisdom in the way we live. Where we have foolish blind spots, reveal them to us and turn us around. Where we don't realize we're walking in a path of foolishness, Lord, open our eyes and give us new conviction. We ask it in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen.